hard for me to say. I think that this is an issue we've been talking about for a long time. That's a very polarizing one, um, and it's a very emotional one for a lot of people. I think it's very clear that it's, you know, it's been dividing our country. It's been dividing our state. Um, it's divided our chamber to an extent, and and you know, perhaps even our committee room this afternoon. Um, we need to let the committee process continue. We've done a lot of work. Um, I can say for myself, we've done a lot of work to try and get us, ourselves to a place where we could um, agree on some language and have some compromise, and it seems as though you know we're not there at this point. Um, I'm going to commit to continue, you know, to try. I think this issue is important enough that it's something, um, you know, that we can't give up on. So the best I can tell you at this point is I'm going to, you know, look and, and watch as everyone else does. Um, I, you know, the only difference is I do have one vote, and I'll use that vote and, and see what we can do going forward. Do you envision a scenario in which it passes in committee tonight? <laughs> anything's possible. You know, I, I, I can't say for sure one way or another. I can say anything's possible. Um, and again, you know, we, we've got to let our committee process work its way out. It's posted for consideration only, so the members will have an opportunity, you know, to give statements and to say their piece, and then, you know, the ships will fall where they may at that point. Can Senator Archambault introduce this amendment? So our rules are, are very clear, and we amended the rules this year that any um, we, a substitute A, as we call it, or, or a substitute of the bill that, that provides written amendments needs to be done um, 24 hours prior to the hearing, and that wasn't done. A lot of a lot of different you know discussions and options have been presented about this bill. I think that our Senate president and our leadership has been very clear that we're going to let the committee process play out the way it plays out, and there's no you know nobody's looking for any extraordinary measures at this point. We. You know, if we do this on this bill, then, you know, what's going to happen on another bill down the line where someone thinks it's just as important? So I think that we need to let our, our rules carry the day and let the committee process play out the way it's supposed to. Well, is a discharge petition an extraordinary measure? Well, I can tell you in the 10 years I've been here, I've never seen a bill discharged from the committee in that way. Um, so, you know, uh, it's not our normal and usual process, I'll say that. Have you heard from the members of leadership on whether or not they're going to come vote in your committee, the ones that are allowed to? You, we've had a lot of different discussions, you know, about what's going to happen. And again, I think that it's an, a rare occasion where members of the leadership come in and vote ex officio. So, um, you know, it, anything's possible, but I can't speak for them.